Hi guys, so earlier on today I noticed on Instagram that my friend Yuzugachi has got the perfect ice cream. I've been trying for this ice cream for so long now as you know and so I had to marry her and so she agreed to marry both my daughters, um, was it a Koromi cone or a Konomi? Um, so she she agreed to marry me the first time then you can see I proposed at the same time she proposed so when I came out the hair proposal was there so I could accept it but so she bred with my daughter's one and then she said that she'd breed with my one as well what's interesting is that both my cone and my daughter's cone are exactly the same I think the the eyes are just the only thing that's different on here she, my daughter's one's wearing glasses but the eyes are just slightly different I think but hers was bred from my Karomi cone. And they're both males. Um, so this would be a good experiment. And then it's my turn. It took me quite a while to find Yuzugachi on the app at this point. We couldn't find each other. So I had to add her as a friend with this Tamagotchi. I've got so many now. I've stopped trying to add specific people unless we're immediately going to be marrying. So that's what I did here to help try and find... Although I forgot, I married both these boys and there was someone on Facebook who I totally wanted to marry as well. So I'm going to have to wait, I think, two more two more days and I'll be able to marry her mermaid. But, um, yeah, it just took me a while to try and find Yuzugachi got, <laughs> on the app. So we will find her in a second. There we go. And she accepted this one. There was no problems this, this time. So like I say, both these ice cream cones are male. They are exactly the same as you can see. They've got the same wings. They've got arms, as you've got, she's saying, finally. Um, and they've got the same head. So, and they've married the exact same mother. Sorry, my husband's just getting off the bed then if you heard that noise. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this will be an, an interesting experiment to do. So here I am just naming my brand new babies. Um, I actually named my Tamagotchi one, uh, Tamagotchi on one the wrong name because of it being dark, I didn't really think. And I just thought, oh, it's my fan fantasy meets, but it's actually my Tamagotchi on. So I called it Fantam by accident. And the other one's called Pastam for pastel Tamagotchi. I just call them the same names generally to be able to tell easily which Tamagotchi is which. I had to come off the recording just for a minute because I forgot how to care for them, which one, what I needed to do. So I looked them up. So the one on the Tamagotchi on, the green on, that one needed to be low happiness and good care. The one, the white one, the pastel one, pastam on the left, that one needed to be high happiness and good care. So both of them needed to be good care. Just the one on the right needs to be low happiness and the one on the left needs to be uh, high happiness. I just showed a little bit there of um, my other Tamagotchi, my fantasy meets and how that's doing but you saw that earlier if you watched my previous video. So I did try and keep my magical on, try to keep it just in the happy zone so it was on three bars happy because I had a feeling that if you have it below that and it's sad at the back of the room like it is there that would go against my good care, but I need to be low happiness still. So it's a lot easier when it's low happiness and bad care. You just leave it alone. <laughs> and it's a lot easier when it's uh, good care and high happiness, like the one on the left. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the midway point that I've found for the one where it needs to be good care and low happiness is to have it where it's just the three bars of happiness but I have tried it on and off with the two bars of happiness as well these both started at the exact same time as you can see but they are slightly off in terms of their timing and I noticed that my clocks were wrong so I just suggested that it was about quarter past eight so I had waited a few hours after initially getting married to raise these babies I just didn't name them so that I could start them when I wanted to start them and be able to care for them properly so you can see here, they're both in their happy stage. And then I've got my daughter's Tamagotchi. And I don't know if you could see that very well, but there we go. You can see it is an ice cream topped one. So that, at this point, I was worried because I know my daughter 
and I know when I married it earlier, she took it, and I'm sure she fed it probably a couple of times, and yeah, then she lost it. She didn't find it until that moment. She'd been calling out to me from her bedroom saying she could hear a Tamagotchi crying, but she couldn't find it. So she'd actually lost it from when it was a baby. So that's why hers is at a different stage than mine, because I started mine later on in the afternoon. She started hers earlier and then totally lost it during the baby stage. And it came out with an ice cream top. And that's the one that's the exact same as my pastel, the white one on the left. So I was really worried by this point because... It should be the exact same care to get the ice cream top. So that would mean it would have needed to be good care and high happiness. And I knew there was no way that Miharu was caring for it to the point where it was good care and high happiness. Maybe high happiness, but I knew it was neither because she had, had lost it. Okay, so I think that has to be definitive proof that the theory doesn't work. So this one was the good care and low happiness and that was meant to give it um that was meant to give it the mother's head and the mother's gene so it's got the father's head i'm not sure about the gene yet i don't know if that topping is what's classed as the gene i still don't know that yet but that didn't pan out then we have this one and this one. Now these should be exactly the same what's needed and they've got the exact opposite. So with my daughter, this is my daughter's Tamagotchi here. I married her ice cream male to the same female ice cream. So they really are a good comparison. So she had a ma male creamy ice cream from myself. And so this is what we had. And my daughter doesn't look after her Tamagotchis very well, as you've heard me mention before. So this didn't get any good care. She actually lost the Tamagotchi while it was during the baby stage. And I don't think she cared for it at all. She may have fed it a couple of times when it first was born until it was like looked happy or something like that but then she's put it down and forgot about it which is what normally happens and my one it said to give it good care and high happiness and that meant I should get the ice cream topping from the mother and the gene from the mother but again I got the father's head so that's proof that the theory doesn't work because I did this perfectly you would have just seen it on my time lapse that this was raised perfectly with high happiness. And this one, you have to take my word for how bad my daughter is at looking after them. But this would have been terrible, terrible care and definitely not happy. Um, I took it and um, fed it and cleaned it all up and made it better from being sick, all that stuff for her. But it already evolved by that point because we did marry the ice creams hours ago. It's just I wanted to wait for a good time for me to be able to record the care. So hers is a little bit older than mine now, but they are meant to be exactly the same. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we got the same gender, actually. Let me just check. Did we get the same gender? Yeah, we did. So that's absolutely perfect. That is the best comparison you could possibly have. Because their father and mother are the exact same. And my previous Tama on both of these was a male. So males on these Tamagotchis married the exact same female and the exact opposite care. And we got the exact opposite results of what we're supposed to. So make of that what you will. But for me, I'm done with trying to figure out if this theory works. I, I know it doesn't now. So... I am open to more theories though because I really enjoyed having a kind of a guide as to what to do when raising them as babies because that baby stage can be annoying. So it's fun to have a guideline of what to do. So if there's any other theories that you guys know about, please let me know about them. I'd love to try them all out and I will get back to you soon. I am actually really gutted about my Tamagotchi's both coming out wrong this time. I'm having like it's happened too much lately. But there you go. Anyway, like, share and subscribe and I'll chat to you soon. Bye.